a very good evening to the teachers parents and students i am vinodanan from sdkt ladang huntley and will be the moderator for today's session before i start i would like to thank all of you for joining us today in our youtube live classroom which is brought to you by sudaruli balayuli youtube channel in collaboration with the national malaya tamil school teachers union i would like to convey our appreciation to the president of the union and headmaster of sjkt bagan sarai mr rp jayap gopalan and not forgetting the entire team working hard for us behind the scene miss parimala our education officer from ppd manjong mr gunalan our education officer from ppd manjong miss pusparada the head mistress of sjkt kampong colombia mr tanesh balakrishnan the ict teacher from sjkt ladang nova scotia 1 and miss sarala krishnan the ict teacher from sjkt kampong kunsamandan and madam vijay malar gunashegaran from sjkt klebang chumur i also would like to thank our human resource minister dr m saravanan the para state education department hile para baganda to and manjong district education office edd my app per tubahan kasu sastran bharati and the online media supporters anegan.com and n tamil despite the despite schools being reopened along with the recovery movement control order the spirit to continue educating our children is still strong among us as educators we greatly value and appreciate everyone's support towards the sudaruli balayoli team your constant support helps to boost our confidence and motivate us to do more for our community therefore please allow me to introduce speaker for today's session she is miss prasanna lata an english teacher currently teaching at sk convent m kajang she has been teaching english past 5 years she is also one of ju cefr negri today she will be sharing her insight on adjective there are few reminders for all viewers especially to the student there are few reminders for all viewers especially to the students first please use the chat box for positive comments first please use the chat box for positive comments second use appropriate language second use appropriate language third use live chat to ask questions about today's topic third use the live chat to ask questions about today's topic fourth don't post unnecessary emojis and unwanted messages because it will distract the others fourth don't post unnecessary emojis and unwanted messages because it will distract the others if anyone goes against the rules stated the admin will block you from the live chat hope the rules are understandable to all hope the rules are understandable to all without further ado I would like to pass the session to our speaker today to start her lesson Miss Prasanna Lata let's explore it together Good evening uh thank you very much to the moderator okay before i get started i would like to uh send my greatest gratitude to the organizers for putting in effort even after the school have started uh, to educate all of us uh, through this online learning platforms yeah so before i start i would like to introduce myself to all of you so my name is miss prasanna currently i'm teaching in sk convent kajang selangor So the one state email address stated on the screen now is my email address. So if you have any questions 
Regarding today's topic or anything to do with English, you may feel free to send me an email. I'll definitely reply to each one of you, yeah? So, I think that's all from my side. I'll start with the lesson today. So, our lesson today, as all of you are aware, it's going to be on adjectives. So, whenever you think of adjectives, there, there's, uh, there's this main object or the main picture that would come to your mind would be uh, the, uh, the positive, comparative, and superlative adjectives. But today, I'm not going to touch on that because I'm pretty sure all the English teachers in your school have done a marvelous job in educating you with those three types of adjectives. But today, I'm going to go a little further inside to see what do we have in adjectives and how can you use adjectives to make your writing interesting and also a little professional, I would say. Okay, so let's start. So this is our topic today, adjectives. The introduction. So adjectives actually describes a noun. Okay. So some of you might be aware of what is noun, but for those who are not, let us see what is noun. Okay, noun is a word used to identify class of people, object, places, living creatures. Classes, class of people here refers to, it could be job. You are referring to a people based on their job. Like for instance, teacher, a radio jockey, an anchor, a doctor, so on and so forth. Or you can even describe them, I mean, identify them by their names like Prasanna, Raju, Nagda Jodi, Vaishnavi, Siva, and some other names that I mentioned here. Yeah? Object here refers to everything around you. Starting from the device that you're using right now, it could be a mobile or a laptop or a computer, your tab, your chair, your desk, you know, objects around you. Places here refers to buildings. Could be buildings such as schools, house, hospitals, or could be even places like uh, Jalan Ipo, Jalan Klang, and so on and so forth. Living creature here refers to animals. Okay, animals also, you can refer them based on their original origins, such as like tiger, lion, cat, or you can even go, I mean, refer to them as in their pet names, yeah? Like see, bow boy or see your mail and everything else that you name your kid, I mean your pets after. Okay, another point that you have to know about adjectives is, adjectives gives more information about a noun. So now you have you have an idea what are nouns. So when, when you are giving an information or an extra information about the noun in the sentence, that is adjectives. That those words that explains or give information about your noun are adjectives. Okay, let me let me show you an example. Okay. Look at this picture here, yeah. So you what you can see here is there's two people, a girl and also a, a boy, trying to lift a sofa. So the basic sentence that you could create or construct from the picture would be Melissa and Robert are lifting a sofa. If you can see here, <clears throat> the noun in this sentence would be Melissa, Robert and also the sofa. So right now, I'm going to take so far as the noun that we're going to add extra information to. So let's see the second sentence where I've added adjective or extra information describing the sofa. Melissa and Robert are lifting a heavy sofa. So the word heavy here describes the noun sofa. It shows that the sofa is heavy. 
not necessary you must only use the word heavy you can use other example like a huge sofa a gigantic sofa the new sofa you know some other words that describes the sofa but here i choose the word heavy because that suits the picture better because you can see melissa is actually struggling to carry so supposedly the sofa is heavy i hope you're clear about what are adjectives so before i go further on i'll just i'll just run through again so adjectives are words that explains a noun we have four types of noun classes of people object places and also living creatures so what do adjectives do about this noun adjectives add extra information to describe this four types of noun so let's look Okay, so there is a rule for adjectives. Let us read at the rules. The form of adjective is the same for singular and also plural nouns. So we have to remember that when we are using adjective, it did not, it, it, will, it, it will, sorry, when we are using an adjective, it will remain the same when it is describing a singular noun and also a, I mean, describing plural nouns there are no difference in the term used or in the form of the term used to describe a singular and also a plural noun let's look at the example look at the first picture here the cat is playing with a colorful ball so the noun in this sentence ball is singular and you look at the adjectives used is colorful the word adjective colorful remains the same when you're describing a noun in plural too. So let's see. The cat is playing with some colorful balls. In this sentence, the noun used is plural. So when it is plural, you don't use words such as colorfuls, okay? Because those words do not exist. So you have to remember, even though the the even though the noun in the sentence could be singular or plural, but but the adjectives used remain the same. The structure of the adjective adjective words remain the same. There's no different. You do not add as yeah. Those are not verb. For you to add as and omit as based on the singular and plural now bear that in mind because these are common mistakes that usually students do during their write-ups Excuse me, yeah, this. Okay. Now we will look at types of adjectives. So we have six types of adjectives. Those types, uh, those six types are descriptive, demonstrative, quantity, interrogative number and possessive so let's look at it the first adjective would be descriptive adjective the word itself explains what is the adjective but let us see in depth on the on this type of adjective words that describe the quality of a noun so you have to underline the word quality. 
Quality means things that you can value, you can see. Example, okay, look at the picture here. How, once you see this picture, there are certain words that would come to your mind to describe the picture. Example, this is a big rock. This is a heavy rock. This is a dirty rock or so many other words that you might think of. So right now, based on the picture, descriptive adjectives are words that describe or describe on the quality, sorry, on the, yeah, on the quality of the noun. Look at this, big, it shows on the size of the noun. Heavy on the mass of the noun. Dirty is on the look of the noun. All those things are the quality of the noun. Besides that, descriptive adjectives generally answer the question of what kind of noun. For example, uh, when you want to describe your friend, how would you describe? You would tell them uh, she is a kind person. So kind is the quality that your friend has. So she, you are, that particular friend of yours is being described as a kind person. That could be because she loves to help others. So kind is like the quality that she has, something extra that she has. Okay? Now, look at this picture, this teddy bear. Can you give me some adjectives that you could think of Looking at this bear, bear in mind, those should be descriptive adjectives, yeah? I'll read out some of the, some some of it, then you're going to put it on your chat box. Let me see, can you give me some descriptive adjective that describes the teddy bear on the picture? Okay, I have some. Gita said, tall teddy. Thin teddy guitar. Are you sure the teddy is thin? It looks huge to me. Uh, doll is the noun, Aruna. I want adjectives that describes the noun. Big, fluffy. Correct. Vanessa is correct. Any other adjectives that you can think of to describe the teddy? Cute teddy. Correct. Big doll, correct, beautiful, correct. Okay, now, let me show you some of the words that I could think of. The nose is big. Okay, so you're taking the noun as the nose here. Yeah? Cute teddy, lovely teddy, big teddy, beautiful teddy. All right, thank you. Now let's look at some of the descriptive adjectives that I have came up. I've came up with, yeah? Cute, soft, huge, comfy, beautiful, pretty, and squishy because you can hug them, right? <clears throat> All right, so now let's look. Okay, this is descriptive adjectives, yeah? Again, I'm just going to highlight that descriptive adjectives describe the quality of the noun. Based, most probably things that you feel and you can see are those this uh, are those described as quality of a noun. Next, we will look into adjective of quantity. Quantity. So quantity itself is a cue for you to understand what is adjective of quantity. Words that describe the quantity of a noun. Quantity usually could be numbers. So you have to highlight the word quantity here. Let's look at an example. Okay. Look at the picture here. It's a picture of a rice. So I add some rice. Some here is the quantity. You can even add, I add a bowl of rice. I add two scoops of rice. I add uh, two 
two bowls of rice, anything that gives a number or a, a quantity image to your noun. Okay. Generally, uh, adjective of quantity answers the question of how much. So look at the picture beside you. There's some currency here. 100 ringgit, 50, 20, 10, 5 and 1. So what are some of the adjectives that you can use to describe the picture? I have given you some here. Some, more, enough, plenty of, little, sufficient. So I'll give you some example of sentences as well. I have plenty of money to spend on my trip. I have sufficient money uh, to pay all my debt. I have little money saved in my bank. I want to save more money so that I can buy an iPhone for myself. I have enough money to buy only a bread. So those are examples of sentences that I have used adjective of quantity. Okay, now let's look at the third one. Uh, <clears throat> adjective of number. Words that describe exact number of the noun. Example, look at the picture. You can see oranges. So what is the sentence that you can construct using adjective of number? Let's see. There are five oranges on the plate. You can see that I have bold the word five for you to show that that are uh, adjectives of number used in this sentence. Generally, adjectives of number answer the question, how many noun? Okay, now let's look <clears throat> at this. So what would the adjective of number that we can use to describe this picture here? Can anyone answer? Let me see if there's any answers. Girls, small and big are descriptive. It's more like the quali quality of that fruit. It looks big, it looks juicy, all those things. Now, it's more to number. So, Aruna Kanyapan got it correct. It shows two. Two oranges. Takshi, takshi, takshinya Nayar, correct? There are two oranges. Rogini, Navina, two oranges. Ritika, there are two, correct? Okay, now, how about this uh, this picture? Vaishnavi, that's correct. Two or big, but you have to remember that two is adjective of number, big is descriptive adjectives. So now let's uh, now try to describe the second, third picture here. Let you say eight oranges, correct? Yes, all right. Many of you got it correct because that's very simple, right? Eight oranges. Okay, before I move on to the next type of adjectives, I just want to make, I want to highlight something to all of you. The difference between additive of quantity and additive of number. The difference is additive of quantity, you wouldn't know the exact value used or the exact value of the noun. For example, you can actually state here, I have 
I have 186 ringgit. If you say, if you state it that way, then that is adjective of number because there's the value 186. But now when you use this kind of words here, some, more, enough, plenty, little, sufficient, that's not, uh, those words did not give you an exact amount. So that's the difference between ex adjective of quantity and adjective of number. Just remember when there is number, like literally number 1, 2, 200, 500,000, those are adjective of numbers. When they don't give you the exact number, then it is adjective of quantity. Okay. The next type of adjective that we're going to look into today is a demonstrative adjective. A demonstrative adjective, words that points out a present thing of animal. You have to highlight the word points out. Example, this, that, these, and those. I'm pretty sure that you have come across these four words when you when you study demonstrative nouns, yeah? So now let's look at it. Okay. The word these and these are used for singular. That and those are used for plural. So let's look at this. This mobile phone is mine. When the, the demonstrative adjective comes right before the noun, then it is demonstrative adjective. But when, it, when it's written in these sentences, this is my mobile phone, demonstrative pronoun, because the word this is right after the verb to be, but not before the noun. You have to pay some attention here, yeah? Because these are common mistakes that students do. The difference is when the word these, that, these, and those are used right, bef right before uh, the nouns, those are demonstrative adjectives. But when they are in the when they are not used before the noun, then it is demonstrative pronoun. So can you can you come up or construct a sentence for this picture here? For this picture here, there's three cupcakes here. How would you use either one of these words, these, that, these, and those, to construct a sentence? Okay, let's show this. Say these cupcakes. These cupcakes are tasty. So when you use these are our cupcakes. Navina, then that is a demonstrative pronoun because these are not right before the pronoun cupcakes. Remember that you have to use these and cupcakes beside each other. These cupcakes are very nice, correct? But the demonstrative adjective that you used are wrong. You should use T-H-E-S-E. Okay, let's look at this. These cupcakes are dias. So when the word this is used right before the noun cupcakes, then that the sentence is a demonstrative adjective. When these are dia cupcakes, when these and cupcakes are separated, then the sentence is demonstrative pronoun type. Okay, now try to Construct a sentence for this picture here.
There are no cars in the parking. That's incorrect. Uh, that car is mine. Vanessa and that's correct. There is no car. Let you. Latisha is not. It's in. It's an incorrect sentence. Torshiny. This cupcake looks. This cupcake look tasty. Okay, that's correct. Those. My car is super wrong. This car is white. This car is my father's. Should have apostrophe there. That is my car. It's incorrect. Okay, let me show you the correct sentence. That car is mine. Sorry for the spelling error. Yeah? There's only one M, supposedly. Sorry. That car is mine. You can see here that is used right in front of the noun. So that is demonstrative adjective. That is my car. You can see that that and car are not right beside each other. Therefore, it is demonstrative pronoun. Okay, I saw someone say they don't understand. Actually, it's very simple. Let's look at this. These, that, these, and those are words to words that are also considered as demonstrative pronoun, and that's also they are also considered as demonstrative adjective. The only way that you can differentiate these two is by looking or by identifying their place in a sentence. Whenever you see these four words are used right before the noun. Remember nouns, we have four types. Type of people, places, uh, things around you, and also living creatures. So when you see these four words, which is these, that, these, and those, are used right before the noun, then those are demonstrative adjectives. But when you see these four words are used uh, in a different part of a sentence, that means there's no noun right after these four words, then these four words are considered as the demonstrative pronoun. So it's as simple as that. The first and the only thing that you have to do is to identify the place of these four words in your sentence. Okay? Now let's look at interrogative adjectives. This is also a little confusing, but I'm sure you can get it over some practice here. Yeah? Interrogative adjectives are WH words which are used with nouns to ask questions. Basically, it's all about questioning. So you have to underline or highlight the word ask questions. So these are the words who, who's whom, which and what. So now look at this picture. This is the example. Look at the sentence. Which bag is yours? If you can see here, which is used right in front of the noun. So therefore, this is a sentence using interrogative adjective. Look at the sentence, second sentence. Uh, second sentence that I've given you, which is your bag? You can see that the noun and also the demonstrate uh, the interrogative adjectives are, are separated, are, they are not together. Therefore, that is an interrogative pronoun. So, can you come up? If you look at this picture here, there's a lot of animals. It could be pet because those are like pet animals to me. So, let's see example of sentence. Okay, we have choose the word whose. So let's look at a sentence that uses whose as an adjective. Whose animals are these? So if you can see in this sentence, whose, which is the interrogative adjective, and also noun animals are beside each other. So those I mean, sorry, so who's in this sentence is used as an interrogative adjective. 
So now let's look at another ten, uh, type of another sample of sentences. Whose are these animals? In this sentence, you can see that whose and noun animals are separated, are not beside each other. Therefore, this is the word whose here is not an adjective. And now let's look at possessive adjectives. Okay, possessive adjectives are words that are used to show ownership. Okay, the word that you have to highlight here is ownership. Example, his, her, my, our, and their. Okay, look at this picture. There's a pair of shoes. Rohan left his shoes at school. The same thing, yeah? You have to remember this possessive uh, pronoun and the way and they are placed in the sentence to differentiate between possessive adjective and also possessive pronoun. So look at this sentence. Ro sentence. Rohan left his shoes at school. His and shoes, which is the, the word and also the noun are right beside each other. Therefore, it is a possessive adjective. But look at the second sentence that I have given you. The shoe under the shoes under the table is Rohan's or his. So that is a possessive pronoun. So the difference is shoes and his are separated in these sentences. Therefore, the his here in this sentence is a possessive pronoun. While when they are right beside each other, the noun and also the possessive adjective Sorry, when the possessive pronoun is right before the noun, then this the sentence uses a possessive adjective. When they are separated, it is considered as possessive pronoun. Let, it, let us look at some other examples as well. So over here, there's a pair of gloves. Leela left her gloves at home. You can see that possessive pronoun her and also the noun are right beside each other. Therefore, in this sentence, the word her is a possessive adjective. Look at the second sentence on the same picture. The gloves on the coach, sorry, the gloves on the couch is mine. So you can see that gloves and hers are separated. There are words in between. Therefore, the word hers here is a possessive pronoun. And there's another picture here. Let me show you the examples as well. Raj and Reese left their lunchbox at home. Okay, the possessive pronoun chosen in this sentence is dia. If you can see here, dia and lunchbox. So the possessive pronoun and also the noun are right beside each other. Therefore, it is a possessive adjective types of sentence. And look at the second one. The lunch box on the kitchen counter is theirs. So the lunch box and the possessive, I'm sorry, the noun and also the possessive pronoun are separated. Therefore, the word theirs is a possessive pronoun. Okay, so now that we have uh, seeing all the six types of adjectives, we will try to answer some quizzes online. Okay. Can you see the pictures here? So, let us answer the questions together. Okay, these are the descriptive adjectives here. Yeah? We are trying to describe the pictures here.
Okay, what is how uh, what is the word that is used to describe this picture here? Any guesses? Bad, beautiful, big, fat, good, happy, sad, short, small, tall, thin, ugly. What could it be? There's a smiley face here. So what is it? Okay, let me do for you the first one. Okay, there's a smiley face here. So the adjective for this picture would be happy. Okay, now, can you try for this picture? What would the answer be? Okay, the answer is sad. Okay, how about the third picture here? Bad, beautiful, big, fat, good, happy, sad, short, small, tall, thin, ugly. What would this, what would be the, okay, Vanessa and say fat. Any other answers? Okay, fat. How about this? What would the word be to describe this image here? Number four. Bad, beautiful, big, fat, good, happy, sad, short, small, tall, thin, ugly. So the answer is definitely thin. Okay, how about these two pictures? So this one would be beautiful and obviously this one is ugly. Okay, now let's look at this. What would the adjective be? Okay, some have given the answer, tall. How about this? So this is short. Okay, very good. Yeah, there's a lot of responses from you. Okay, how about this one? What would it be? Okay, this one would be big. And what about this? Small, smart kids. Okay, last but not least. What about this? Good. And what about this? Bad. Okay. So give yourself 
A big round of applause because you got it all correct. Since we still have another 15 minutes, I'll go for a second exercise with all of you. Okay, can you describe this animal here? Okay, this is fast and this is slow, correct. How about this, these two gentlemen here? Angry, cold, fast, hot, old, poor, rich, slow, strong, warm, weak, and young. Choose one from it. So this man here is rich. How about this man here? Who's playing a violin? And poor. Okay, someone said here, young and old, but if, I think that's for the third set of picture, yeah? For this is rich and poor. For the set, third set of picture is young and old. So what is the answer for this? You can see that the red color is highlighted. So what could it be? It is hard. How about this one? This one is warm because it's in the center. How about this? And this is Cold, correct. This one. Look at the face. What what is it? Number five is angry, correct. Look at this boy here. He is strong. And how about this boy here? He is weak. So let us check. Correct. All of us got it. Correct. Okay. So there's one more exercise from my side that you can do it over your free time. So copy down this link here that I've given you. And when you search for this link, there will be a Google Form worksheet that you can answer. And I'll try to respond to each of you. 
you, of course, you'll get immediate response, but I'll try to give feedback based on your answer later on, yeah? So thank you for cooperating and interacting with me throughout the session. That's all from me. All of you try to stay home and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, teacher, for the clear explanation on exploring adjectives. Hopefully, the tips given would make everyone to have a clear picture on adjectives and learn something new too. Thank you, teacher. Dear students, we will be providing the quiz in our official Telegram group. Dear students, we will be providing the quiz in our official Telegram group. The quiz will require students' official Delima email account. Delima email account. Students are not allowed to use their personal email account. Students will only receive certificates if they are able to score 80% and above in this quiz given. Students will only receive certificates if they are able to score 80% and above in this in the quiz given. Thank you, teacher, for your clear explanation on the topic. On the behalf of the Sudoroli Balioli team, we would like to thank Ms. Prasanna Lata for spending her time and giving some useful information. Special thanks to our viewers out there for being with us throughout the session, whether on YouTube or Facebook Live. Special thanks to all our viewers out there there for being with us throughout the session whether on youtube or facebook right don't forget to subscribe our channel and click the notification bell for upcoming classes don't forget to subscribe our channel and click the notification bell for upcoming classes that's all for today we shall meet you again in the next lesson take care and goodbye